Hello guys, welcome to our today's presentation. I'm going to do something on integration and uh, its application. I welcome all of you to this uh, channel. Uh, today's um, hashtag is uh, learning and earning. We are going to earn by the end of this uh, uh, lesson. So uh, you being around is not in vain. By the end of this presentation, be assured that um, you are going to reap out of this presentation. Welcome one more time and let us uh, learn and earn together. The gradient function of a curve is given by dy dx equals to 2x squared minus 5. Find the equation of the curve given that y is equal to 3 when x is uh, uh, 2 when x is uh, 2. Now, what we are going to do, I have already written here, we are going to integrate, we are going to integrate um, uh, the equation that we have been given, that is the gradient function with respect to x. Eh? Now, uh, under integration, we are going to increase um, uh, the powers here. Uh, like now, we have got uh, x raised to power 2. We are going to um, increase the power by 1, and the result we divide by uh, that uh, value. Uh, now we end up uh, getting 2x uh, raised to power 3, then we divide by uh, 3, we divide by 3, 3, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, the power that we obtained after increasing, uh, the, the, the increasing the power of x. Now minus 5x, then uh, uh, plus c, in this case uh, plus c because we are going to work out the value of c. Good. Now we end up saying that uh, our y is in fact uh, 2x raised to power 3. We divide by 3 minus 5x uh, plus uh, c. Now we have already been told that uh, when y is 3, x is uh, 2. Now where we see y, we replace y with um, uh, 3, and then where, where we see x, um, we put uh, uh, 2 there. Now, uh, our y is 3, and then is equals to uh, 2, you multiply by, uh, this is 2 raised to power 3, you divide by 3, minus 5, you multiply by 2 plus c. Uh, so the aim here is to work out the value of um, uh, c. Now, 3 is equals to, uh, this is 8, you multiply by 2, it is going to give us 16 over 3. Then you take away uh, 10 plus um, uh, C. We put like terms together by saying that uh, 3, uh, if we take away 16 over 3, we add 10, it is going to give us uh, C. It is going to give us uh, C. Now let us use the other side, the other part. Uh, let us work out the um, the simple mathematics that is here uh, by uh, finding out uh, the LCM. The LCM on the uh, left hand side is going to be 3. Let us equate this one to C. Now how many times, um, now 1 goes to 3, how many times? 3 is uh, if you multiply by 3, it will give you 9. You take away 16 because 3 uh, will uh, go to 3, uh, three um, once. How many times uh, under this part? 1 goes to 3, uh, 3 eyes. Uh, so it is 3 times 10. We are going to get a positive um, 30 is equals to C. Uh, if you take away 9 minus 16, you will get a negative. Negative 7 plus 30, you will get a positive um, 23. Uh, you divide by 3. This one is our C. And we have succeeded in uh, um, uh, working out the value of C. We have the value of C. Now, the required equation is required equation the required equation must have a c now we are going to say y is equals to uh, 
um, uh, 2x raised to power 3, we divide by 3, we take away 5x, uh, then plus uh, 23 over um, uh, 3. Now, this is the required equation, uh, the equation of the curve. This is the equation of the curve, the equation of the curve. And that is how we work out the equation of the curve. First of all, you integrate uh, the uh, gradient function. You integrate the gradient function, and after that, you uh, substitute with the uh, respective coordinates in order, in order, in order to find the value of c. After finding the value of c, now you combine, you include that value in that equation, and uh, by so doing, that um. Uh, 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 worked out the equation of the curve. Part uh, B of this equation, we have been given V, uh, we have been given, um, uh, we have been told that V is equals to 2t raised to power 3 plus t squared minus 1, and then we are supposed to find uh, the distance covered by the particle in the intervals in the interval uh, that is um, uh, between uh, uh, 1 and um, 3 uh, minutes, in, uh, between 1 and 3 minutes, we are supposed to work out um, uh, the distance covered, the distance covered. Now, again, for us to be able to work out um, the distance, we are going to integrate. We are going to integrate uh, the the velocity that we have been given, um, uh, which is two uh, t raised to power three plus t squared minus one. We are going to integrate this with respect to time, with respect to time, our t that we have been given, and we shall integrate from. 1 uh, all the way to 3. The time is um, we've been given that is from 1 to 3. Now we are going to do um, we are going to follow the same procedure uh, under part um, part uh, 1 by saying that this is now 2 uh, t raised to power 4. We divide by 4 then plus t raised to power 3 we divide by uh, 3 minus, uh, this is the same as saying uh, t, this is the same as saying t, this time round, there is no need of us writing c, because uh, c is going to cancel at the end of it all. Uh, but let's just say c, uh, we do the integration from 1 uh, to 3, from 1 minute to 3, uh, minutes. Uh, this is time. Now, where we see, we want to begin with the three, uh, three. Where we see uh, t, uh, we replace that with the three. Uh, we're going to use three, and then we subtract um, uh, the one with one. Now, let's say two of um, four. Two or over four. Uh, you multiply by 3 raised to power 4 plus uh, 3 raised to power 3. You divide by 3 minus 3. And this one, we are going to uh, take away. We are going to take away. Uh, let us now use 1. Uh, 2 into 1 raised to power 4. You divide by 4 plus um, uh, 1 raised to power 3, you divide by 3, minus 1, like this. Let us proceed. Now this is going to give us, um, um, uh, this is 81, 81 is 81 over 2, plus, this is 9, minus, 9 minus 3, 9 minus 3, like this. So the first bracket is going to give us uh, 200, 
the first bracket is going to give us 93 over 2 93 over 2 this is our first bracket now take away uh, this is going to be uh, a, a half a half uh, plus um, a quarter and then you take away one this one is going to give us a one over six so we take away one over six we take away one over six we take away one over six uh, now this time round uh, this one let us check very well what it is one over six uh, no no we must have um, a negative here so that this we are supposed to have a negative here negative one over six negative one over six negative one over six then when we have negative one over six we multiply by negative one we're going to get 93 over 2 93 over 2 now plus 1 over 6 we work out the lcm is 6 so 2 goes here 3 ice times um, 93 it is 279 plus uh, of course 1 it is going to give us 280 you divide by 6 eh? when you do this uh, you surely get um, uh, 46 46 um, 46 uh, 4 over 6 which is the same as um, 46 um, uh, 2 thirds eh, square units 46 2 thirds square units we can go ahead and say it is 46 2 over 3 uh, square units square units and that is the uh, that is the the answer that is the answer to uh, part b that is the answer to our part b we already have our um, uh, distance now this is the distance 46 to a third square units thank you for watching um don't forget to uh, like comment and um, share the video to your uh, friends. Thank you.